Good evening. This is the World News on TV Sarawak. The toll of death and destruction from a typhoon that tore through central and northern Japan climbed today as the government said it was considering approving a special budget for disaster response and eventual reconstruction. While central Tokyo was nearly back to normal and people were able to start cleaning up in places where flood waters subsided, hard-hit areas like Nagano, Fukushima were still flooded. Typhoon Hagibis hit Japan's main island on Saturday with strong winds and historic rainfall that caused over 200 rivers to overflow, leaving thousands of homes flooded, damaged, or without power. Rescue cures today were still searching for those missing, thought to number about 20. Papua New Guinea police today said they were seeking the arrest of former Prime Minister Peter O'Neill for official corruption and that he has refused to cooperate with police thus far. Police have released no detail of the allegations against the Prime Minister who led the South Pacific Island nation for seven years. Acting Police Commissioner David Manning said in a statement that O'Neill had been found in a hotel in the capital but was not cooperating. Investigations into this particular case involving the former Prime Minister has been ongoing and the weight of the evidence that came to light before the police detectives necessitated an application to be made to the courts for a warrant of arrest. We have made it very clear when we came into office that we will look into all outstanding criminal cases of national significance. As we speak, he has refused to cooperate with police thus far. Now, my, my appeal as the Acting Commissioner of the Royal Public in Constabulary to Mr. O'Neill is to avail himself to the investigators and allow for the process to be completed. O'Neill resigned in May after weeks of high-profile defections from his government to the opposition. Nearly 200 Syrian refugees, apparently fleeing the dramatic situation in northeastern Syria, arrived in Domi's camp for refugees in northern Iraq yesterday. Officials, speaking under condition of anonymity, said 192 Syrians had crossed into the Kurdish regional government of Iraq yesterday. It was not immediately clear where they had come from exactly or whether they were fleeing Turkish or Syrian government forces. The Syrian army yesterday was pushing into key towns in eastern Syria after an absence of seven years, following a deal with the area's Kurdish led administration itself prompted by a Turkish invasion last week. Well, that's all the English news updates for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Razi Ahmad for TV Sarawak, signing off.